Look at this pompous gate. It's a very pompous gate to our new school. We are playing Katawa Shoju. We are playing as Hisao. We've just yeah. arrived at Yamato Academy. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. just let's just go in. See, in fact, see what it's all about. Gates in general seem to do that. <laughs> seem pompous. <laughs> but especially so. I don't know. What kind of gates have you been seeing, mate? Like... Red bricks, black wrought iron and grey plaster assembled into a hole that didn't feel welcoming at all. I mean... It looks, yeah, it does look pretty fancy, actually. I wondered if it looked like a, what a gate for a school should look like, but couldn't really decide. <laughs> Probably no. <laughs> I think you're thinking too hard about this, mate. But you're thinking too much about it. Of course, I didn't want to get stuck on thinking about the gate for yeah, too long. So yeah, there we go. It from a pace that felt surprisingly good. I'm glad, oh. mate. I'm moving glad forward moving. feels good. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> So Wait. I walk towards the main building of Yamaku Academy with this brisk pace. I'm alone as my parents are taking my stuff to the dorms, and there's supposed to be someone waiting for me. Oh. The grounds are incredibly lush, filled with green. Hey. Mm, hey. It doesn't feel like the kind of grounds a school would have. More like a park, with a clean walkway going past the trees and the smell of fresh cut grass and all other park like things. <laughs> <laughs> right. Such a uh, uh, benches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm enjoying the writing in this game so far. It's, it's pretty yeah. excellent. Yeah, it's daft. Words like clean and hygienic pop into my mind. It makes me shudder. <laughs> this guy likes his parts dirty. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's just a big old crusty. He doesn't want to be clean. Nah, I shake them off. Stay open-minded now. It's your new life. You have to take it as it comes. All right. That's what I tell myself. Uh huh. A few big buildings loom behind the leafy canopies. Too big and too many for just a school. Everything seems off. It's different from what I thought I knew about schools. It's a boarding school, though. Yeah. It's an uncanny valley. Even though I was told this is my new school, in the back of my head, it doesn't feel like one. Right. I wonder if the feeling is real or caused by my expectations of a school for the disabled. Right. Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. It's kind of eerie. Right. It makes me wish there was somebody here so I could anchor myself to something tangible, instead of having this feeling that I stepped into another dimension. This guy is so extra. Yeah, about really. Everything. Hmm? She's like, ah, oh, anyway. The trees hum with the wind, and the green hues flashing all around me catch my attention. He's in love with it. See, uh -huh. this is this might be where I got my love of trees from. No, it's not. But I, I okay. <laughs> it makes me think about hospitals again. How they say that the operating rooms are painted green because green is a calming color. It's true. It's true. You see, yeah, like a really cool. nice, like, well, I don't know about dark green, but like, see if you sp step into a room and it's like a really nice pale green. Mm. Mm. You just feel at home. It's great. So why am I feeling so anxious despite all this greenery? <clears throat> Only after I stand in front of the haughty main building, I surprise myself by realizing why the gate bothered me. Uh huh. It was the last chance I had to turn back, even if I had no life I could return. Whoa! To. So like, oh, the symbolism. Oh, dude. Oh, oh wow. bro. It's oh. So because like, it's like a gateway to his future. Uh <laughs> Still, after entering, there was absolutely no way I could go back anymore. Much like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling nervous and with this realization said in my head, I open the front door. Oh, that's a nice oh, school. Ah, yeah, this guy. A tall man with bad posture notices me as I enter. We're the only people in the lobby, so it's only logical. Uh, you you must be a no 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 uh, so you are uh, excellent. Uh, I'm your homeroom and science teacher. Uh, name is Mitu. Welcome. We exchange a handshake that is neither firm nor sloppy, and he looks at his watch. <laughs> right. Okay. A very, so like, mid-range handshake. Mm, very middle. Of the a very, yeah. a very f six out of ten. Uh, mm. Her head nurse asked you for a brief check-in visit, but there's no time for that now. 
Oh, uh, should I go later? What's his voice? I don't know, I'm just thinking of, like, stereotypical anime protagonist. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to go for. Uh, yes, afternoon's probably fine. Uh, we should get going and introduce you to the rest of the class. Uh, we're waiting already. And this guy's just, what, like, Julian in a rush? Just, like... <laughs> Hey, uh, I I'll, I can't really talk right now, but uh, I'll phone you back in uh, 20 minutes. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Listen, this is what happens when I have to do voice acting. Just listen, it'll probably get better. Okay. It'll probably get better, right? Because okay. I don't I don't ever do this. Okay. Except when I may be dungeon, you know, DMing. Um, but DMing, yeah. But that's that's. But not even then, <laughs> I've not been able to do that since uh, you know. Elephants started elephant invading thing. rooms. Um, Waiting for me? I don't like. I don't really like being the center of attention, but I guess it's inevitable in a situation like this. Somehow, not knowing what is waiting for me makes me feel really nervous. Yes, the anticip. Thinking of this, I almost miss what the teacher is saying. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself to the class? <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 You know what? No, come on, be a big boy. Yeah, of course. Could you just go and... yeah. yeah, sure. I mean, isn't that normal? Uh, of course, but uh, not everyone likes to be at the uh, center of uh, t attention. JavaScript error? Well, you can go do a big poo. <laughs> oh, away! There we go. Sorry about that. I'm probably one of those people, but I guess I should be the one to give the first impression of myself. Yeah. Right, but it's no problem. It's like in prison, like, you gotta hit somebody in the first day so that <laughs> you don't get hit later on. Like, if yeah. you introduce yourself and you're like, this is who I am, then people don't get to be like, that's who that guy is. Uh, let's go then. My heart is pounding in my chest, and it keeps me thinking about my condition as I follow the teacher up the stairs. Yeah, you probably should take it easy. The teacher shouldn't be putting you through such stress. Yeah. The third door down the third floor corridor is marked as the classroom for class 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Funny, that. Uh-huh. Muto opens the door. Muto opens the doors and, and enters. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm late again. I hesitate for a split second at the door, freezing on the spot. Maybe I'm staring at that horrible painting down at the Yeah, end. that is nasty, dude. What the it's hell is that? Damn. It's like Rabbit, it's like rabbit Man. Ah, yeah. get a grip. This is a big step, I know that. But there isn't any point to worrying so much about it. At least not this soon. I follow the teacher into the classroom and look around. Partially so I won't have to meet the curious gazes of my new classmates. Uh-huh. There's some cute girls in here. The ceiling is unusually high, and there's lots of space left over around and in between the desks. Uh-huh. An entire wall taken up by blackboards, and the high, old-fashioned windows only make it seem larger. The students' desks are just standard wooden desks, with a shelf underneath for books, and wooden chairs with metal frames. Simple and efficient. Hmm. I stop walking in front of the classroom and face the other students. They all look normal, like students in any other school. But then, why would they be here? Yeah. They're probably like me and have something wrong with them, only it's just not immediately obvious. Mm -hmm. Then, I notice that one of the girls seems to be missing the thumb of her right hand. Uh huh. It's a bit... Despite the natural tendency to listen to when someone's talking about you, I tune out the teacher's speech halfway through while he introduces me to the class. I notice a flash of dark hair and see that someone is looking at me. A girl with really long, straight hair that is pretty eye-catching. Mm. As she seems to be looking back at her, she covers her face with her hands, as if it will make her invisible. Ooh. There is one boy with a cane leaning against the lockers at the rear of the class. It's weird seeing someone so young with a cane. Yeah, I was gonna say that some of, the, some of these guys are, like, pretty good looking as well. Oh yeah, handsome yeah. boy. Everyone's just handsome, what's going on? Another girl seems to be making... Well, it's 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 artwork, you know? Like, they're not going to draw ugly people. Well, maybe they will draw ugly people. I mean, on I mean, this, like... poor, this poor lad here. Look at him. 
he's maybe a bit over yeah. over enthusiastic or asleep i can't tell i think he's, he's either like so psyched to have a new classmate that he's like oh my god or he's like fast asleep yeah like mouth open snoring like yeah, right. just... there's there's someone doing a little bit of the the old sign language sign language yeah she peers at me over the rims of her glasses and goes back to whatever she's doing oh. i think that's her on the, on the left hand side there next to the oh yeah Thank you. so she's kind of cute she is kind of cute so is the cheery looking girl with pink hair sitting next to her. She's yeah. really hard to know. I don't know how I didn't notice her the moment I walked in. Hmm. Please welcome our newest classmate. He claps his hands, and so does everyone else. Except one girl in the front row who has only one hand. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. Way to make it awkward. I, I know, right? I know, right? Anyway. I cringe a little. Yeah, I, I mean, we all did. Bowing and thanks for this applause I did not deserve. You know, I'm going to say something about... Contra As an actor, I'm going to say something about controversial and say that I hate bows. I hate bowing. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Me too, my, But see, one the thing is, like, one of my lecturers put it as it's our way of thanking the audience which I, th that I can understand it's like right okay we're done now thank you for sitting through however long a thing but I just think it's very like awkward yeah yeah I like, feel you can't help but and it just feels very like I don't know yeah forced if it was a kind of thing of like at the end we all just kind of went right cheers see ya like I'm like I don't know yeah. If it was more casual, it was, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I like no, to I, mean that I should open my mouth now. No, oh. Uh, so, uh, I'm Hisao Nakai. Uh, <laughs> and after that? Uh, my hobbies are reading and soccer. I hope to get along well with everyone, even though I'm a new student. And after that? Uh huh. I'm being so bored. Yeah, you really are. This is exactly like every self-introduction ever. I should say something more. Something more exciting. Like what? I don't know, fuck the bear in the ass? I don't know. I end up saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> I fucked a bear in the ass. <laughs> hey, what's I up? I satisfied, even with what little I said, though. A few girls are whispering to each other, throwing glances Ooh. at me. Could have gone works? Eh? Yeah. Eh? 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 I listen to the teacher as he drones about getting along while get letting my gaze sweep ac across the classroom. <laughs> Everyone uh -huh. seems to be listening to him intently, and when he's done, they clap their hands again, which feels like a weird thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think maybe that's it. Like, even an orchestra is like, I didn't really like the whole bowing thing, like, and applause is like, as soon as the applause happened, I just wanted to get, like, not get out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I usually... So you were talking about the whole like, you know, back in the before times when I was performing, um, mm. before elephants started invading rooms, um, yeah. I could, uh, I, I wouldn't usually bow, but you know, with the whole clapping, I would, I, I would just point at the audience and clap at them. Some more genuine way of saying thank move. you. Classic, classic stage move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. No, no. Thank you. No, th exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first little girl claps on this round with her one hand against her other wrist that ends in a bandaged stump. <laughs> it makes me feel a little bad. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, we're, we're gonna be doing some group work today, so I'll give you a chance to talk with everyone. Is that okay with you, okay? Do me. Yeah, it, it's fine with me. Oh, that's good. You can work with uh, Kamichi. She's class representative. Yeah, she can explain anything you might want to know, but uh, who else would be able to do that better, right? How could I know? <laughs> yeah. Just go here. <laughs> the teacher passes out the day's assignments and announces that we'll be working in groups of three. Great. It hits me that I don't know who Hakamichi is. Slow. The teacher seems to catch my helpless expression. Oh, right. Uh, Hakamichi is right there. She's in a Hakamichi. Woo! Damn! As he calls her, her name, the cute, bubbly looking girl with bright pink hair and gold eyes waves her hand at me. I take a seat next to her by the window. 
that she's got a very determined expression on her face she does have a very um, determined i i appreciate that also how did those skirts pass school regulations right well how... because the shirt goes over most of it no no and no 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 how wait wait a minute that that logic makes zero like sense where your cursor is like no uh, yeah i understand that right. right but usually usually skirts should go past the knee john right past the knee oh, all right oh modesty oh, you, you you pastor you you watch it majig no that i'm not even saying that as like wh- whatever you want to uh, whatever you want to label me as expert by the window sit down and shut up <laughs> no hey uh your, your your skirt's a little short but i guess you're about to beat you right <laughs> It's, it's nice to skirt you. I mean, meet you. Uh... <laughs> what? I'm caught off guard by her laughter. I would be caught off guard if a girl laughed at me like that. It's nice to meet you too, but I'm not Hakamichi. I'm Misha. This is Hakamichi. Shichan. Giggling, Misha points to the girl next to her. The one I saw using sign language before. It looks like she's been staring at me this whole time. She nods once nonchalantly to show that she acknowledges my presence. But only barely. Oh, she's cold. really cute too. She's but... cold. But her skirt's also quite short. Yeah, everybody... Who's she running this school? Yet carefully brushed hair. <laughs> I'm gonna be... I, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna form a PTA and I'm gonna be having a strong word with the you teachers you can't you're a student i don't care i'll find a way i'm my own fucking you, parent it helps you do end up in the student council right? so maybe you can right? maybe you I, could like you wanted to be trotsky as well so do, maybe do you, you know could, like, what do you know yeah more. exactly or 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 i could just become my own grandpa sorted <laughs> fucking that's what i'll do Anyway, a pair of oval shaped glasses balanced on the tip of a dainty nose, and dark blue eyes that seem to alternate every few seconds between analytical and slightly bored. Oh. She's like checking you out and then being like, eh. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Silence, because she obviously isn't going to speak. Oh. She immediately looks at Misha, who smiles and makes a few quick gestures with her hands. Ah. Oh. Hakamichi nods and makes a few gestures of her own. I started to wonder if the teacher was messing with me, saying things like, you'll be able to talk to people, and who better to explain things to you. I can see you're a little confused, right? Right? But I understand why you would think I was Shi-chan. Shi-chan is deaf, so I'm the person who translates things back and forth for her. See? I'm like an interpreter. She says it's nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. So if you want to talk to her, you're going to have to learn sign language, bro. You know what? I'll do it. Do yeah, it. well, I mean, I'm, 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 let's I'm not, not get ahead of ourselves, okay? That's true. That's true. Because you may have noticed, before we go on, you may have noticed that there are two girls here, right? Yes. There's, there, um, are, there are a bunch of other girls. There are six in total. They all come in little groups of two. Oh. And basically, you can choose to fall for one of them and befriend the other out of the group of two. Oh. And basically, whatever group of two that you choose, you stick with them throughout the whole story. Like, act two onwards, like, that's you. So this is your first two. This is your first duo. Ah. Okay, I see. And right. if I may say, word of advice. Uh-huh. No, you know what? No, I'm not going to give you a word of advice. Off you go. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to... I'm going to... I'm just... What do you... You kind of cut off before you were going to say it. So, there's, there's a duo. Yeah. Right? And I yeah. can fall in love with one of them and befriend the other. And I'm sure yeah. you can also, if you if you want to be a total dick about it, I'm sure there's a way to play both of them, which I'm not going to do because I'm a decent human being, or at least I like to think I am. Not really. Okay. 
I think, like, as soon as you start making more, like, as soon as you start leaning towards one more, the other one, like, loses out. Right. Like, I you know? gotcha. So I need to pick my jewel. Basically. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> cool. That's fine. But this is just the first two, and, you know, you've got many people to meet, and you, you, anyway, off you, just keep right. going, man. I'll, I'll <clears throat> You're the new student, aren't you? Well, Shi-chan, of course he is. If he wasn't, he would have been standing up there for no reason, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> he seems like a very interesting person, doesn't he? We knew there was going to be a new student, but we didn't know you would be here today so soon. He-chan, right? He-chan? He-chan? Yep, it fits, doesn't it? Did I say it out loud? It's just a surprise. I've, I've never liked that nickname. Oh. I imagine they're calling me like Johnny. So uh, I, I, I don't really see how... It fits! You look just like I imagined! Silence. Ha ha ha! Yeah, you look just like a He-chan! It's rude. Uh, I, I wonder why everyone seems to think so. Silence. <laughs> you don't have to stay in silence. Akamichi taps her fingers on the desk to get Misha's attention. They gesture, gesture back and forth to each other excitedly, their hands a blur. Oh. So Misha's like proficient. Doing fucking ninjutsu fucking But maybe really not quite. quickly. Misha seems a little over, overwhelmed. <laughs> sorry. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Shi-chan wants you to know that she's the class rep, so if there's anything you need to know, you can feel free to ask her. Wait on. Uh, do, do you like the school so far? We can show you around a little if you haven't had the time to walk around and familiarize yourself with it. Misha stumbles with the hard word a bit, making it stick out in her otherwise fluid translation. <laughs> Uh, thanks. That would be pretty helpful. Yeah, I just kind of came straight to class today. Ah! He's raging. <laughs> He's so Holy upset. shit! I didn't know it's because I was so busy reading. I didn't know she was really uh, angry. Yeah, man. I did oh. not like. Oh no. Oh, she will remember that. Um, <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> You should always try to learn as much as you can about where you're going before you go there. Not just with school, either. That's true. Uh -huh. Always. Even if it's a trip to the convenience store. Really, Shi-chan? Ha 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 ha. Learn about where you're going? I guess I didn't bother to do that. Or just didn't care enough to do so. Harry knew nothing about Hogwarts. <laughs> I didn't like all the things, Even if I committed myself to go along with it half-assedly. But anyway... You're disabled, Harry. I I'm what? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh no, we're just back up and running. You can't get us cancelled now. Oh, that's true, yeah. Uh, I don't Sorry. say anything. And Misha's saying something that ends in a shrug. What was that? It seemed like it was about me. I feel like slumping over in my seat. Both of them are smiling, but that shrug hit me unexpectedly deeply. Oh. Oh, you, you look down. Are, are you okay? Oh. Don't, don't take it the wrong way, please. I hate it when people are afraid to ask questions. That's how people learn things, by asking. Yep. Asking for help is perfectly normal, as much as needing help. Stop looking like you just failed a test. Wahahahahahahaha! <laughs> uh, Alright. Ah, and another thing, you don't have to call Shi-chan something so formal like Hakamichi or Class Rep all the time. Just call her Shi-chan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's too casual. Maybe she's in it would be more appropriate. Yes. Yep, yep, she's in it's fine. <laughs> okay, that would be a lot easier for me. Because you're not an alpha at all. I feel a lot more... <laughs> no. Well, yeah, he's not. Um, anyway, continue. 
<laughs> Both of them seem so friendly, so I feel like an idiot for being so apprehensive earlier. Yeah. Especially with Chizune, who I, th who I assumed would be all business. Oh. Well, she still seems like that. Just less so, I guess. Business in the front, party in the back, am I right? Business in the front, business in the back. How would you All feel business. about that? <laughs> Just business. It's big big business. business. Stock markets. Huh? Uh huh? Oh, right. We haven't even touched the assignment. We should start work now, or she chan will get mad. Yep. Uh, the assignment cool. is also kind of long, so we should start now if we want to finish it before the end of class. <laughs> that too! <laughs> she... <laughs> anyway, carry on. <laughs> She's in a glare glares at the two of us impatiently. I don't need to know sign language to understand that. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I get the message. After class, we can take a walk around the grounds together. It's a nice day today. Okay. This is a really interesting pairing, right? So, right. hear me yeah. out, right? Because okay. you okay. have the interpreter mm -hmm. and you have... So you have the person and you have their interpreter, right? So who are you falling in love with? The person that is signing the messages, right? Or are uh, you falling in love with the interpreter, right? Who's saying all the things for them, right? Who is it you're actually falling in love with? Um, quite... I understand that you're posing some kind of philosophical, emotional uh, puzzle here, but I'm going to give you a word of advice. Don't fall in love with the interpreter. Okay. I'm I, just gonna say that now. I mean, you're gonna have a, it's, I, it's a bad time. I I can I can imagine, I can imagine. Oh, all right, yeah. um, yeah. Uh, totally. But like, yeah, it, it is There's an interesting. Out there wants to know what happens when you fall in love with the interpreter. Either Google it or watch um, Voices from the Dark play it. Or I don't know. Maybe he does. I think he tries to. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, or play it yourself. Play the assignment is actually very challenging to get through, combining aspects of being both difficult and unnecessarily long. Still, we finish it a few minutes earlier than anyone else in the class, despite our late start. Our start. late start. Despite our late start. Shizune and Misha are really capable. Mm. They're quite different, though. The class rep is as calm and professional as she looks, while Misha is a lot more playful and girlish. Not to mention a little more easily distracted. Mm. To be honest, the two of them did most of the work. I feel guilty about that. Oh, sorry. Uh, Rachel was... Oh, boom. Octower boom, bell boom. ring, signalling the end of the period. Yeah. Time for long. Oh, periods, man. Double periods, man. Good. That face, man. That face. You don't know what else to do. I follow Misha, who's beckoning me into the hallway and down the stairs. Oof. We descend even below the lobby, where I met Mutu, down to the bottom floor. Uh-huh. Just like everything in this school, the cafeteria seems too spacious, and oddly modern in contrast to the classic exterior. Its big windows open to the courtyard, towards the main gate. It kind of looks like... I mean... It's... I think this is just what all schools look like now, but... Yeah. It really... It's really giving me nostalgic vibes. To, yeah? like... Just high school. Actually, now you mention it, where that pillar is placed. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah. what you mean. Yeah. It's the cafeteria! Captain Obvious. Her enthusiastic <laughs> statement the obvious makes people around <laughs> us stare. But Misha doesn't seem to care, so we proceed to the line. There is a rather long list of menu options, which seem great until I realize that many of them are to accommodate students who need special diets. Oh. They're nice. It yeah. almost feels like I'm back in the hospital, eating portions measured with scientific precision to meet the needs of the patients. That must be really hard work. That must I be appreciate hard. all of this, man. This is cool. Yeah. I pick something at random and follow Shizune to a table, sitting opposite of her. Oh, very good. As I nibble indifferently at the food I'd rather not eat, Misha pokes me in the side to get my attention and points to Shizune. Uh-huh. 
I don't understand signs, so the point escapes me. Yeah. Maybe looking at a person who talks to you is proper and polite. Do you want to know something? What? <laughs> About anything! We're your really guys! Weird way to pose that question. So you should ask if there is something. Hmm, I wonder. Ask well, about Shizuna's deafness. Ask about the library. I, I fuck it. I know everything. Um, I'm gonna ask. You know, staying in character, I would probably ask about the library because I've been reading a lot of books. So I'd be like, okay, oh, I want to okay. know more about Good. books. Good. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Is there a library in the school? Lately, I've gone into reading a lot, so I'd like to check it out. Misha gives the kind of friend that makes it clear she doesn't consider reading a healthy hobby, but then picks up her smile again. Ah, uh, Misha's a dummy dumb. Mi Misha's there a dummy. is! It's in the second floor! We can show it to you sometime! That was awful delivery, oh, but you know what? It's done. Uh, thanks. I return to my food while the girls talk to themselves. Misha and Chizune sign back and forth very animatedly, throwing sideways glances at me. But Misha refrains from translating. Oh, they're talking about you, dude! Maybe they're they are talking about secret girls talking. They're talking about you, dude! Dude! They're probably talking about you. Oh, 100% talking about you. They're like, look at this idiot. I could believe there's a conversation insane is not enough to fill a si silence. Yeah. We arrive in the classroom early, but we're not the first. Oh, you know what? I've just noticed, I've been getting so into the game that... Oh, are we are we over our time? We're, we're really over our time, so oh, I think... Shit. Are we? Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, yeah, we're, go we're gonna talk to to the, to this girl in the who is dressed a little more modestly, so... No, we're not gonna talk to her anytime soon. Anyway, right, uh, we'll see you next time. Right. Bye. Well, hang on. We'll sign off. We'll do the subscribe. Oh, oh yeah. So, yes, yeah. We, we subscribe. Uh, comment. Leave let, a comment and everything and let us know. Uh, rate, rate, my, rate my voice acting out of 10. Um, oh, please. W 1 being stop, 10 being it's okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see oh, yeah, all. That's, that's a very modest scale. <laughs> that's a very modest scale. Uh, yeah, just like, like, and subscribe, and do all the hangs, and tell your friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See you. Bye. Part timers, we do this part time. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.